Hey guys, welcome to this week's live session. It is January and it is 2019 and it's the first live session of the year. And I'm super excited to spend this time with you to answer some entrepreneurial questions that you might have and to really tackle a few topics. So today we're going to talk about uh, setting your goals and getting your stuff straight before you start 2019. And I'm going to tell you the story of Simon Sinek's monkeys. Uh, so <laughs> looking forward to that yeah, we're going to spend some time and if you have any questions make sure you um, post them live right now or you message me on direct messaging system uh, or whatever and ask your questions um, be, uh, so we can answer it live Orlank is online, Franco is online he's saying yeah buddy hey Franco, uh, good to see you again so guys first things first you can't just jump into 2019 and just go with the flow, okay? If you're just gonna start it, if you're just gonna go into it as if nothing changed, you're just gonna hover around, right? You're just gonna be there in the ocean. Waves are gonna come at you from every side and any side possibly, and you're not gonna know where you're going. You're not gonna have a direction. You're not gonna have a set plan, and you're gonna just go with the flow, go with the stream, and who knows where you'll end up at the end of 2019 so it's very very important this is the first bit of advice for this year is to have a plan to have a strategy to have some kind of direction where you want to go to know where you want to be before you just continue with 2019 so if you're currently at work if you're currently in your business if you're currently already started without this stop immediately stop immediately take a step back and just plan and just put things in place and just start on a good foot and on a good note on the live session we have Erlang, Franku Leibrand, uh, Kellen and JC guys welcome to the live session it's January it's 2019 and we're talking a bit about how you can make your 2019 better and start it better don't just jump into it don't just float around put a proper plan in place now what does that plan looks look like what type of plan should you have in place first of all what do you want to achieve set out specific things that you want to achieve this year specific goals specific things that you want to um, achieve in your personal life in your business life in your entrepreneurial life in your work life what do you want to achieve and quantify them how much money right do you want to make exactly how much to the cent okay you need to have these things super specifically so that you know when you reach that destination how much money do you want where do you want your relationships to be where do you want your friendships to be where do you want to your fitness to be be exact how big should your arms be like how much weigh? how much should you weigh be very specific and put those things in place because then as you go through 2019 and waves hit you or streams take you or storms take you wherever you know where you should get at so even if you get blown a bit or taken a bit uh, from your route by the current you'll still know where you need to get back at so you'll still know how to get there um, so what do you want from 2019 very specifically okay and then uh, the second step is okay so what do you want to change in your lifestyle as a person right how do you want to look as a person in the end of 2019 so we're going to talk a bit about that and then i'm going to tell the story about simon sinek's monkeys so, <laughs> so looking forward to that on the live session michael thanks for joining in as well um so as a person right who do you want to be what do you want to look like because if you have that picture you have that picture in your mind of what you want to look like at the end of 2019 then all of the other things will fall into place because a lot of people say hey you need to have timetables hey you need to have uh, manage your day hour by hour you need to have set calendars or you need to have super discipline or you need to have rules and all of these things then sometimes you just get lost in all of the um, admin and things like that but if you just focus on the type of person you want to be then all of those things will fall in place for example let's say you want to be a fit person and you can see yourself being fit being healthy standing there on the beach at the end of 2019 looking immaculate okay let's say that is what you imagine and you take that picture in your mind 
and you think about it, you can even go and take a picture of a very healthy fit guy or, or lady and put it on your wall and you put that in your mind and you look at that picture then you don't need to put every day's gym session in your timetable you don't need to put to work out a specific diet or exactly what you need to do because that picture is in your mind so every day that picture is keeping you accountable for what you do so whenever you feel like hey i want to munch this sweetie or donut or whatever you look at that picture and that guy staring back at you that immaculate um, being of yourself or future of yourself looks at you and that makes you make the correct decisions you don't have to put it um you know, have all these rules for your life if you just have the right mental picture you'll automatically do things different to get to that point guys on the live session today we have Erlang, Franco Leibrand, Kellen, JC, Michael, Al, Faisan, Ahmed, Ace Berger, uh, uh, Sean Smith in Klaus Brille. Guys, are you enjoying this live session? Uh, if you're enjoying it, send a wave, send a shop so that I know I'm on the right track. We're going to talk a bit about um, Simon Sinek's monkeys now. And if you have any questions, send them through and we will answer them live. We have a question on Facebook. Okay, Franco asks, would love to know what sets your soul on fire. <laughs> would love to know what sits uh, on Instagram as, as well would love to know what sits your soul on fire my soul okay my soul gets fired up when I imagine that possibility like like I just said um, I call it the awesome Albert so this is me this is Albert right but there's an awesome Albert that's like the next level that's making a change in South Africa that's changing the youth's mind about finance that's changing um, everyone in South Africa's mind about finance changing the economy making a difference you know going out there and making a change leaving a legacy now that awesome Albert is there and I still need to become that awesome Albert so that is what sets my soul on fire. That's what's given me drive to become that, to do that, to be that person that can really make a difference in South Africa, really change something and leave a legacy that can improve other people's lives and that can really enable other people to reach their dreams. But I can go on with that for hours of what sets my soul on fire. We also have a question by Dolan. What's the most important thing you uh, should have to achieve a goal so the most important thing uh, Dolan is that you should have that picture right in order to achieve a goal you should know where the end destination is um, one of my mentors Marnie Buerta once uh, used this analogy and he said um, can you navigate me on Google Maps and I said yes I have Google Maps I can navigate you and he said go to uh, the place where there's sand and I'm like okay where is that i need more detail and he said okay you want more detail okay on the sand there's a house it's blue and i was like no i can't navigate there and he's like no no do you want more detail i'm like yes please give me more detail so i can navigate you there and he was like okay in this house they have cutlery it's silver that's like super detailed and i'm like no i can still not navigate you there and eventually he said okay go to blowback strand um street number this and then i could navigate there so Dolan, if you don't have the address, right, if, if you don't have that specific destination where you want to go um, in terms of reaching your goals, you'll never get there, right? And even if you have the destination, but life hits you, right? If, if you're going to cycle to, to Blauberg or if you're going to drive in your car to Blauberg Strand, that address, and life hits you hard and you lose your car, then you can still cycle there right or you can if you lose your bike you can still hitchhike there but you'll get there no matter what the means because you know the destination so Dolan let me know if that helps um, now up to Simon Sinek's monkey story guys so first thing you need to get right for 2019 is you need to have your destination you need to have your focus you need to know what you want where you want it and when you want it and you have to have the second thing is you have to have that picture of who you want to become if you have those two things, I promise you, 2019 will be way better than any other year that you had some kind of um, New Year's resolution and never pulled through on it. So those two are very key elements. Then the third one, Simon Sinek tells a story about monkeys. 
and they are in this cage four monkeys i think it's four you can correct me if i'm wrong so four monkeys in this cage and there's a ladder in this cage and at the top of the ladder there's um, bananas and as soon as one of these monkeys climbed up the ladder to reach for the bananas the the guys that uh, did the experiment um, sprayed them with water all of the monkeys and then they were wet and then the second time a monkey go, went up to get a banana uh, the the guys that conducted the experiment sprayed everyone with water all of the monkeys eventually the other monkeys got wet every time someone tried to get the banana so they got angry at the one that's trying to get the bananas so when some monkeys started climbing up the, the ladder all of the other monkeys would hit the monkey and pull him off so that he doesn't go up the ladder because they know they're going to get sprayed with water so therefore this became kind of a culture um, of the of the enclosure whenever a monkey tried to climb up the ladder to get the bananas all the monkeys would stop him not to do that because they know they will be sprayed by water so then what the guys did that conducted the experiment is they took out one of those original four monkeys and they put in a fresh monkey a new one that didn't know anything about the water he's never been sprayed by water he doesn't know about spraying by water right when he tried climbing up the ladder because he saw the nice bananas up there all of the other monkeys just started hitting them and pulling him down so he learned that behavior and then he started joining in if another monkey tries climbing up he also beat that monkey then they started to replace these monkeys right the second one they took out new monkey third one they took out new monkey fourth one they took out new monkey eventually all four monkeys in the enclosure has never been sprayed by water they don't know that they will be sprayed by water when they climb up the ladder but if any one of them tried to climb up the ladder all of them will club together and they will pull this monkey down because they, that's just how it's been done that's just how it works and this is something I see a lot in people's lives when the new year comes they continue to do things because that's just how it works that's just how it's always been done so that's why I'll continue to do it like that in 2019 and if you ask them why are you doing this why are you still at this position why are you still in this business why are you still in this job why are you still not doing this that you want to do why are you still at home they'll tell you because that's just how it is that's how I've been doing it that's how just how it's been done and they might not even know why just like those monkeys that it won't climb up the ladder they won't take the banana because the, the others will pull them down why they don't know it's just because that's how it's always been done so that's my fourth tip for this live session don't just continue 2019 because it's always been like that don't be afraid to make a change do something different think out of the box change the way your life is currently at maybe change your job change your business start something new don't be afraid to to wait start that business start that hobby start that something that you wanted to do go out and change something for the better don't just stay and stagnate because it's always been done like that so if that's a message that can motivate you for 2019 i'm super happy guys if you're enjoying this live session if you enjoyed my story about the monkeys send the shop so that i know i'm on the right track on the live session we have erlang franku kellen jc michael Faison, ace um sean class uh, rico's dolan um, and then Quibus in Jock. Guys, I'm getting a lot of shops. I'm so happy you're enjoying this live session. And um, so to summarize for today, get your goals ready. Know where you want to be. Know who you want to become and where you want to end up at the end of 2019. And then don't stuck. Don't stay stuck in ways uh, from last year, from previous years, uh, just because it's always been done, done like that. How long? Are you going to keep on repeating the same routine? Keep on pulling uh, the other monkeys down. Keep on not wanting to climb up that ladder just because it's always been done so. Make a change. Make 2019 different. Make it yours. Cool guys, that is the live session for this week. If you joined in just now, you can always watch the whole live session at the top in my stories or on Facebook. It stays there uh, as a post on uh, Millionaire22 as newsfeed. So enjoy it and then I'll see you guys again next week on the live session. Looking forward to that.
So Frank is saying love it, love it, love it. Dolan is saying thanks a lot, that helps. Um, Jock is saying sharp. Erlang is saying sharp. I think it's Andre. Andre, good seeing you again. Michael is waving. Sean is saying sharp. Andre is saying sharp. Klaus is saying sharp. And um, JC, sharp. And Franco saying, yeah, buddy. Cool, guys. Have a great week. All the best. Uh, just go for it and make 2019 the best year ever. See you next week on the live session at 3 again.